and it's Antonio Kuzek, I represent the University of Łódź, and I'm going to talk very briefly about the final results of the project. Uh, because the, at the core of the project was to introduce a new master's uh, program uh, that would specialize in digital marketing. Uh, it was supposed to be a joint program. We've changed plans uh, in the middle of the project, just a little bit, but I'm going to explain you uh, this in a moment. We, as the University of Łódź, were responsible for four uh, major parts of this project. Uh, I'm going to talk about the most interesting one for you. So, uh, I'm going to talk to you about the study pathway guide, so, excuse me, curriculum framework. So, how exactly uh, we'd like to construct the program of teaching masters uh, in digital marketing. Uh, well, the first thing that we've done was to uh, investigate how different universities that are being partners in this project deal with uh, building new joint master's program. And to tell you the truth, we came to the conclusion that it's kind of a difficult thing to do. Uh, we can call it bureaucratic hell or whatever you like, but it is really difficult. Because the rules, uh, we are all in the European Union, uh, at least for now, but uh, the rules uh, between different universities change a lot. So, for example, uh, master studies in uh, European Union amongst partners uh, can last two semesters, can last four semesters. We have a problem with deciding who is our target group for this project. Are we going to teach uh, digital marketing only people who already have some previous uh, business or marketing experience? They studied something out of marketing or, or business? Uh, or are we going to accept people to the program who have no idea really how to deal with this stuff? We have problems uh, deciding how we are going to end the project, uh, the studies. Uh, some universities deal with uh, dissertation thesis, some universities accept projects as the final of the, of the uh, of, of, of study. Uh, some programs uh, accept masters for 75 LCTs credit points, uh, some needs 120, and so on and so on. We even have problems with different academic uh, calendars. Some countries start uh, studies in September, some, some later in October, and so on. Uh, one very important thing that we came up to is that from the perspective of building new programs, Nearly none of the uh, partners have ready to use procedures for running a true, really joint program. So we came to the decision that we really can think about starting the joint program, joint master's program, in two models. First model uh, is a true joint program. So we are enrolling students for one master's program. We are giving one diploma, and uh, all the students are studying together in the same Group. The second model of uh, running a European joint program is to really run five separate programs. They obviously are going to be synchronized between them. We are building one curriculum, we are building uh, you know, teaching objectives uh, that applies to every partner, but we are essentially pra practically running five parallel programs. Obviously we can make some synchronization, we can exchange students from one program, from one country to another, we can exchange tutors, we can uh, build some kind of an international uh, team experience, team project experience, and so on. But from the perspective of the students, they are studying at their own university. Uh, taking into consideration that we have limited time to uh, finish this project, we have made the decision to go with this model. Uh, <coughs> and our uh, main job as partners in this program was to introduce a framework, how this program would look like if we are going to start. And we decided to use the model that is running right now in Southern University, and we are going to base our uh, programs on this model. So, we have decided that basically we are running a three semesters program. Uh, the last semester is going to uh, be all about the project or thesis. It depends on the country that is running this program. Uh, there are three major modules in this program. Each is worth 15 SEDs points. I'm going to present a, a more detailed uh, about those modules in a moment. And uh, some of the partners need to have some electives in the program, so we are also introduced this element, also worth 15, uh, 15 SEDs points. Um, 
The core program structure is devised in such a way to present students with most important knowledge needed for them to start their own uh, endeavors or to work for somebody and to really be efficient in starting their own marketing uh, and social media and uh, search and so social media activities. Uh, we have two major things that we really like to uh, introduce in this, in, this, in this program. First one, uh, this program has to be run with practitioners. Uh, the business environment, the marketing environment, the digital marketing environment is changing so rapidly that we need practitioners to uh, help us with this program on an ongoing basis. The second thing, we strongly believe that, you know, that there's a lot of work right now available for the people who know social media, for example. But the problem that we are having in Poland, uh, there are a lot of students who are starting their journey in the marketing departments. And since they are young, they know Facebook and so on, so they can take care of those channels of communication. But we strongly believe that if students uh, would like to progress in their marketing roles, they need to have a strong background, they need to understand business objectives, they need to understand marketing uh, from strategic perspective not only be able to understand Facebook and write a, a viral post. So the program is constructed in such a way. The first uh, subject that we are, that we are undertaking, under, undertaking is digital marketing and analytics. Uh, in this major module, we are introducing, in introducing students to the concept of digital marketing. We are helping them understand how it's going to work. And basically, we are, under, we are introducing them to the whole uh, planning and exec execution model. So we are driving them through planning, acting, observing, and, and reflecting. Uh, the strong element of the course is obviously the analytical part. The second <coughs> major model is search and social media marketing. And in this model, we are looking at major tools of uh, digital marketing. So we are looking exactly at different ideas, how to use social media, basically, to uh, the marketing purposes. Uh, if you know the elements of the project, uh, we are running group MOOC that uh, you've already heard, heard about. And this MOOC is kind of parallel to this exact module. So the program of this MOOC is very similar to the program of this model. The third element of the course is looking forward and in more strategic perspective. So we are uh, uh, pro proposing a module of digital innovation uh, where we are presenting the students with uh, major up-to-date knowledge uh, that will help them to introduce some digital uh, products on the market. Uh, obviously, we need to present something about uh, business models. We need to introduce something uh, about understanding, deep understanding of the customers, hence the design thinking concept. <coughs> and we need to teach them something about the process of organizing an enterprise and introducing new products, digital products to the market, hence lean startup ideas and concept around this. So that's the basic understanding, <coughs> the best basic idea for the whole for the whole. Uh, studies. And what is really important is that this core curriculum is going to be changed according to each partner's national needs. So for example, for the, our Bulgarian part partner, this product, this curriculum, would look like this. Um, this is the result of all the bureaucratic uh, things that we have to take care of. Uh, because, for example, it is impossible to introduce a 15 entities uh, subject like in your university. So we need to divide, basically, the bigger models into smaller ones. But what is really important is that we are going to introduce this program exactly the same in all the countries from the perspective of what students will learn. And this will give us a basis to introduce the true joint program uh, within the next couple of uh, years. We are still talking about it because something such small as Brexit happened, for example. So we are still uh, thinking how we are going to address the situation and if we as five partners would like to start this program, how we are going to do it, to do it in a proper way. So that's it from my, uh, from my point. If you have any kind of 
questions concerning the whole curriculum, please find me after the conference. I, I can give you uh, much more details about the program construction. Thank you very much. Thank you.